uh, I think Patrice was angry at a lot of times because he was I think he was disappointed and angry at times and I, and I think and I try to tell dudes if you can't watch Black Phillip with a with a mind of entertainment then you shouldn't watch it and I'll tell you why I and I just want to tell these men out here I don't want to you know single out any type of man specifically culturally or you know from a race perspective or anything I just want to tell all of you men out here that you know it's a matter of just courtesy if you suck my dick and bring me a plate oh I'm I, <laughs> you can have anything I'm not an alpha male I'm not a beta male either I'm just a better man. Better man. What's up, Tony? What's going on, baby? Uh, I was wondering how you feel about if you'd miss Patrice or anything. I know it's not probably on topic, but I want to know how you feel about Patrice. Oh, man, I miss him every day. Legacy. I miss him day every day. Um, So uh, the best way I could explain that is, um, uh, man, you, you fucked me up on that one. Um, <laughs> the... Um, we had a we had a connection in the way that we I mean this is gonna sound this pause but this is gonna sound a little sweet as anything but it's like we could we could finish each other's sentences like we would discuss things we had a we had a connection where we 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 un, there was an understanding there was a base level of understanding and I and I, I really wish she was still here so that I could have somebody to bounce these thoughts off. So what, what, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, it makes me better because I have I have to be my own test results. Like I have to be because I would usually have him to push back, and I would push back right, on you him. You can't slide nothing past Patrice. Yeah. His radar catches shit. You and know what and, I'm and and we would yeah yeah no we, we were one in the same. It's like I would check him if he said something, and then we would debate right. about it. And as much as people would go. You know, he was a type of dude who, um, you know, people thought he was so. Uh, he, he was actually very flexible. If you had a, if you had a, a logical argument and you could explain to him what that logical, he would he would change his mind absolutely. So I miss him every but day. You see, a lot of people don't have logical arguments to go along with the bullshit they talk about, and that's why they didn't like Patrice because he not only could he throw it in your face, he could explain why he's throwing in your face. And he can explain why you deserve to have it thrown in your Well, face. I'll tell you one. I, I, I can sum it. I mean, this was always my my gift in in you know in our in you know in terms of our social dynamics. I could always put it. My truth sharpens your honesty. Like if right. I, I'm so truthful that you either have to be more honest with me than you've ever been, or you gonna hate no me and you gonna want me to right. because if you're a liar, right? I have to be a liar and a scam artist too, because if you are a liar and uh, and I'm not a liar, then you know that you're going to be exposed by my truth because I'm going to call you out. And, and right. so it, it it forces. I still watch Black Phillip and I still watch the O and A's. And you know he, of course, you know you were my Patrice was my introduction to you. Also, yeah, I'm yeah. a fan of yours, of course, and Patrice. You know what I'm saying. Now let me I just let me to call and let me say that. something real quick about the Black Phillip. I love the Black Phillip. I still listen to them sometimes, and but I I I, I think in a way the Black Phillip show uh, was our recognition of of what was it was our recognition of something that there was a that the balance was off. And I try to tell dudes if you can't watch Black Phillip. With a with a mind of entertainment, then you shouldn't watch it. And I'll tell you why. We didn't really give any answers. There was no explanation. There were no answers to what we 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 were stating the problem. And at the time, uh, I think Patrice was angry at a lot of times because he was. I think he was disappointed and angry at times. And I, and I think a lot of that anger is what gave seeds to the manosphere what exists now is this anger towards women which is just really ridiculous it's like i watch i watch um you know i'll, I'll be watching somebody else's content and they'll have a bunch of only fans and strippers and all these chicks on the, all these goofy chicks on and then when they're acting goofy they're mad at them because they right. you can't be mad at fish for swimming. They don't go out and get lawyers and doctors. They don't go and get lawyer women and doctor women and professional and even, women. And even if they, they do, the even, 
even if they do, they're asking women to not be emotional about things that they're emotional about and be accountable, which you're just not going to get that. So it's just it doesn't, you know, and, and so the whole point is that you're feeding a bunch of dudes or a bunch of these incel dudes and and these dudes who are really afraid to address women in the first place, which, which is the fear is the basis of it. And they're doing it. So they, so they want to tune in and watch you trash women. I don't trash women. I, I love women. You know, why would you? Um, and there's a there's a way uh, there's a way to deal with that. But man, I appreciate you calling though, bro. You know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all. Do all of the above. Yeah. Peace. Let's go. Hi, Dante. Hey, Angela. How are you, sweetness? What's going on? I'm fine, thank you. I am 54 years old. I will be 55 on January 1st. Congratulations. I have been listening. Thank you, brother. I have been listening since Beige, Beige Phillips' first episode. I'm a little nervous. I'm very excited. So I just want to thank you for all you do. I and I just want to tell Angela. these men out here, I don't want to you know, single out any type of man, specifically culturally or, you know, from a race perspective or anything. I just want to tell all of you men out here that, you know, it's a matter of just courtesy. Uh, I tell women all the time, you know, bring, bring, bring a brother a plate, change his life, you know, cook dinner, bring it. Listen, I just sit there, I'll bring you your plate. Yeah. It's the little thing. Yeah. And yeah. I think that we've lost sight of that. Yeah. And I think that if more women were open to just being women and not being consumed with what anyone else thinks or just going with what Absolutely. they feel, a lot of things can be avoided. And it's all about communication. Yeah. Well, you know, you, that's, you know Andrew, that's I want to say something, you know, like any, I will, Kevin Samuels, uh, no name above him, but he would tell, he would say 54 years old, you out of the game. And I'm going to tell you something. If you 54. Oh no, oh no. I will, you can look at my picture I, in, in Google and see, I am definitely not out of and, the game. Well, first of all, first and of maybe all. Maybe I Maybe I can afford to say the things I say because I'm not out of the game. I'm 5'5", I'm 127, I'm in shape, I'm educated, I'm accomplished, but I know that I am looking, seeking, and I am better with a partner. All right, and well, that partner looks like the male species. I, Point blank, period, that, dot. Let's be very clear, brother. <laughs> I love it. And I'm going to say something to you. I mean, the fact that you are the best version of yourself is what makes you radiate that kind of confidence is what I mean. And I'm going to tell you something, dog. You know, this whole thing, you in the danger zone and you, you're, you're not viable because you're past 23 years. It's, look, a dude, if, you, if you get a dude a plate and suck his dick, uh, you have is no it? idea how far that goes. <laughs> you win it. And I, it's the little things. It's like, listen, you know, I bring you a plate, you know, you know, maybe I need you to wash my, my truck. I mean, and listen, it's the little things. Yeah, you, and, it's and, the and, little and things. we want to do mean it so much. And we've lost sight of that. I'm going to tell you something. Sight of that. A guy loves to, we like, what are we if, if we're not doing things for women? Like, what are we if we're not taking care of I mean, it is our role and it's what we want to do. We just want to do it and be appreciated for it. So if you, if you bring. I don't the, know what happened. Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what happened. I can't call it. I don't want to sound. It's the internet. Antiquated. It's, I can't it, call it. I, can, I can't. It is absolutely the internet, and the internet and, and, and the fact that the internet gives you parts of people's life. Because I'm going to tell you. Well, you, maybe that's why I'm only on LinkedIn and not on anything <laughs> else. Maybe <laughs> that's why. Maybe that's why I'm still winning. And, I may be single, but I'm still winning. Angie, <laughs> let me tell you something. You, you want LinkedIn is good for a job. You looking for a job. And, and it just happens to be a, <laughs> taking care of a man. I'm because I'm gonna tell you, if you suck my dick and bring me a plate, oh, I'm I, you can have anything. <laughs> Listen, that turkey sandwich with mayo on both sides oh, of the bread, bro. Oh, I know what it is. You Come know, on now. That's it. I Come on you. now. I've been down. I, I, I've been down. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> I only th I, I only thing I would say is that 
it is, you know, it's scarce. It, it, I feel sorry for women because there's not enough good dudes. You know, it's just. Uh, it's, well, you know, I don't. It's listen. I don't believe that. I do believe it. Last night, perfect example. I went to my sensei's uh, movie premiere. Right. I showed up. I was dressed. You know, dressed really nice. Oh, yeah. I had on a beautiful top, jeans, boots, high heel boots. I'm dressed here. Everything done. You know, and cats are staring, yeah, you can't and nobody's get... saying anything. And yeah. I was by myself because I'm comfortable going yeah, yeah. out alone. Yeah. Nobody's saying anything. Well, Angie, I'm, so I'm getting I'm stares working on it. from the men. I'm getting stares from the men, Dante, and Thirsty. glares from the women. Yeah, I feel stares you. Stares from the men and glares <laughs> from the women. <laughs> Angie, thank you. I'm I'm doing I'm doing the work here. I'm trying to I'm trying to I open that. I know you are, brother, I'm, and I'm I'm riding with you. Thank I'm you, riding sweetness. with you. Fourteen years later, I got you, bro. Thank you so much for all you do, and thank you, men out there, for listening. He, there you he's go. a real one. There you go. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.